Hey everybody, it's Blue Toad, and welcome back to Super Mario 64. Now, if the camera would stop changing, that'd be nice for me. Because there's something that happens with Mario if you wait long enough. Actually, there's probably a better place to display this. But also, you may have noticed that if we press the pause button while we're in the castle, we can actually see the name, like the level, at the top of the text there. And then how many stars, depending on which ones are filled in. We've got three in Cool Cool Mountain. And how many coins we have total there? Or best we had there. Not actually the total. But if we go up or down, we can actually go through the different levels we've been in and see how many stars we have in each course and how many coins we got. And if we look at the uh, the Womp's Fortress one, we can see that next to the coins is another star showing that we got the 100 coin star for it. If we actually went into the level select, it would also show on the level select that we have a a star there. Oh, the 100 coin star, sorry. Also, there's some light here now coming from above. And if we look up at it, I don't know how many stars you need for this, but if you have enough stars for it, this will be available to you. Welcome to the wing cap course. Step on the red switch at the top of the tower in the center of the rainbow ring. When you trigger the switch, all of the red blocks you find will become solid. Try out the wing cap. Do the triple jump to take off and press the L to land. Pull back on the L stick to go up and tilt forward to nose down, just as you would uh, when flying an airplane. As uh, Because you have so much experience with flying airplanes, apparently. Anyway, we can fly around. We want to be probably go fairly slow because we need to also collect red coins while we're going through here, which get harder and harder to actually get to because you're gonna be, be slowly going down and if you go up suddenly as you've been while you've been going down for a long time you actually oh dear get those red coins please oh no I'm gonna miss oh dear and I'm gonna if you go suddenly up what when you've been going down for a while it will um, make you go too far up it's just it's Difficult to control at times, but anyway, if we fall out of the level, you don't die, you just have to restart, I guess. If we hold down, though, as we're trying to fly, I can probably slow down an, a fair bit. I really want to go slow as I'm going down, not go too fast down. That's the only way... That's the best way to get these red coins. It's a lot more difficult than it needs to be, but I'm going to try. Okay. Okay. We're building up a lot more speed than I would like. Okay, calm down. Calm down, and then go down. Maybe. I can't see. Don't get too far away from the center of the course, otherwise you will land in... or hit the wall, the invisible wall of the world. And we'll have a bad time with that. Anyway, the timer runs out after a while. And if we hit this red switch here... and get onto the solid ground... You've, we've, you've stepped on the wing switch cap, the cap, wing cap switch, oh my goodness, words. Wearing the wing cap will, uh, you can soar through the sky, so basically what we've just done before, but you can just, yeah, it's, it's, I don't know why it's explaining what you just did, anyway. Now wing caps will pop out of the red blocks you find. I would like to save, yes I would. So, now these blocks are solid, we can hit them, and get wing caps back. I don't think they last as long as the other ones, but you may... You may notice that these blocks, these red blocks, resemble the orange block that you can just get random items from, or specific items placed into them. That's because originally, there was supposed to be another cap switch for those that would activate them. I believe they were supposed to be for the shells that you get from Cooper Troopers, so... But things changed. Let's grab the star. And once you have the star, the light will go away from the ceiling. And yeah, now we have the wing cap in wherever we want to use it. But now, let's go into the last level we haven't gone to. And see what this is about. I'm pretty sure though, there is a sign over here. Are you using the cap blocks? You really should, you know. Wow, thanks game. To make them solid, you can break... Uh, so you can break them, you have to press the colored cap switches in the castle's hidden courses. You'll find them hidden. You have to find the hidden courses only after regaining some of the power stars. 
The cap blocks are a big help. Red for the wing cap, green for the metal cap, blue for the vanish cap. That's a lot of information all at once. So we know what the cap blocks are for now. All different colours of them. But we'll actually learn about the other two as we go along. The names of these stars are also hints for finding them. They are displayed at the beginning of each course. You can collect the stars in any order. You won't find some stars, uh, enemies or items unless you select the, a specific star. After you collect some stars, you can try another course. We're all waiting for your help. Okay. Well, that's all that done. And now, welcome to the next course. Course 3, Jolly Roger Bay. Plunder in the Sunken Ship. This song is great, by the way. But it's not called Jolly Roger Bay. It's called Die Die Docks. And I'll be explaining that in a future point in time for why it's actually called that. Attention, read before diving in. If you stay underwater for too long, you'll run out of oxygen. Return to the surface for air, or find an air bubble or coins to breathe while underwater. Press B to swim, hold B to swim slow and steady. Tap B with smooth timing to gain speed. Tilt the left stick forward and press B to dive. Pull the left stick back and press B to return to the surface. Pull the left stick back and press B while at the, surf at the surface or near the edge of the water to jump out. So I'm not sure how well that was explained in that, but I will be going over it in a second. This is why they introduced videos that explain things. Also, another green switch here. We've already read that sign in different levels, but it's okay. Over here, also we can just swim on the surface of the water, which is nice. There's a cannon here. So we can just swim on the top of the surface by pressing the A or B button, I'm pretty sure. If you time... Uh, your, like, your, I don't know, if you time the, your button presses after every sound effect or movement, you can actually get it to go faster. And if we hold down while swimming, we'll actually go underwater, and our power bar will actually go down. It's not actually a separate meter, it's still the power bar. If we collect coins, it works the same way. And, if we wait for the, the power to go down, if we head to the surface, it heals. So this means if there's water on level as well as more land than this, because this is a primarily water level, you will actually be able to heal your, your damage you take out of the water by going into the water and staying at the surface. Anyway, let's go around the level. There's a lot of things we can look at, but we can't do everything at the moment. So let's head down here, to the lowest point, and as we get closer, a ship's gonna appear. I believe this is the Jolly Roger, but there's something inside of this window. What we want to do is swim right in front of it, and then swim up to the surface for air, because that's gonna... otherwise you're gonna drown. Drowning in this game is a little bit... a little bit brutal, just to watch. But anyway, if we're doing that, the eel is now swimming around the water. Don't touch it, it will hurt you. But now, we can go into the sunken ship. And plunder, I guess, since that's the name of the thing. And down here are some treasure chests. Let's go open one up. But if we touch the wrong one, it will zap us. If we touch the correct one, which is this one, it will open with a number coming out of it, and also a bubble. If you pop the bubble, you'll get your air back. There's also a small pocket of air at the other end of the ship. But what we need to do is actually open up these chests in the correct order to be able to open them all. And then, after opening them all, we can see that the water in the ship is being let out or something and the ship is rising. We actually have plenty of time to actually swim up to the star box up there. Or we can just climb up using the platforms that appear here. 
Also, I love how in this level, if you're on a solid ground, which I believe is, has to be at a certain level, so down here, under the water, the music now has drums in it, which is probably the best part of the song. It doesn't just happen when you're anywhere. You have to be on land, deep under water level, because I guess we're still technically under the water since that's where we entered in. But anyway, let me just actually try to climb up this without falling off because I'm having a lot of trouble right now. Oh please, oh please, oh my goodness. This is why you really want to swim up to that box to start off because climbing up this is not fun. If you jump and then dive, you can probably get onto the platforms because sometimes you can't get on and so... Dive when you're in the air to actually land on the platform sometimes. Anyway. Let's grab this star. Here we go. So there we go. Let's head back in. Can the eel come out to play? Let's find out. I was mimicking somebody else's voice in that. And once you've collected the first star and collected and select a different star on the level, the star select, you can see that the ship has risen up and you can actually use it as a platform now if you actually get up from over there. But right now, we need to go see the eel, so let's head back down. So. What we want to do is get nice and close to the eel, not too close because it will hurt you if you touch it. Oh my goodness, I was in the inside of that. But once it, you startle it, you'll come out and at the very tip of its tail is a star. And if you can touch the star on its tail, oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Oh no, 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 no. You want to make sure you have air and don't accidentally touch. Oh, don't accidentally touch! Oh, I'm dead. I'm so dead. I'm so dead. I'm so dead. Oh my goodness. That's a horrible way to die. And Mario's eyes has ex ha have X's on them when you drown. I think when you die in general, he has X's on his eyes. Probably? I think so. Anyway, that's what happens when you die. You just get sent out of a level and you lose a life. And Bowser, the Bowser thing happens, where it's a Bowser outline closing into the darkness and he laughs at you because you died. That's kind of brutal. Oh my goodness. Doing perfect swimming here. That's why the sounds of the swimming is slightly different. I'm surprised I'm getting it because I have a little bit of a problem with a slight delay. It's not a very big delay, but it's just enough to mess me up. Okay, let's get the star. Oh, I definitely touched that, please. Oh my goodness. Three space. Help me. Oh my goodness, I'm gonna die again. That's a shame. Hey, can I? I can't... I don't think I can... Even... I can exit course! If you exit the course, though, you will keep your damage. You can collect some of the coins in the overworld to just recover health, but it's still not a great option. If you use the water, you can heal again, but apparently if you're not moving in water for long enough, you can... Like, stop and then pause and exit. Which means you don't lose a life, but you still have to go out of level, so it's not the most useful thing. Anyway, let's recover a health back by just stepping into the water. See what I mean? It's just so useful. And let's try this again. This time I'm hopefully going to get it. I'm usually a lot better at getting this. But I'm really struggling at the moment. I did, it did look like I touched it last time, but the angles of everything is a bit weird sometimes. Anyway, let's get you moving. Oh, you're definitely touching me. Okay, and then... You kind of want to go a little bit early, just to make sure you actually get it. And then... Go! Got it, okay. Once you touch it, it will just go right below where his hole is, and we can grab it. And yes, you can actually collect stars underwater. Otherwise, this would be very difficult. Well, there we go. Now we have 16 stars. And let's go... 
over here. Actually, no, let's go over here. Because there's these black holes in the walls. And if we go up here, we get a one-up. As long as it doesn't run away from us too much. Grab that. There we go. And if we go into this hole up here. Come on. And this hole up here. It's actually a secret level. An underwater secret level, where we have to collect 8 red coins before we run out of air. There's no air pockets, but there are plenty of coins, which you need to be collecting anyway. And yeah, there's one on each side. The coloured windows are interesting, because it has the clouds outside, but looking through the windows, it's different colours. So yeah, we need to collect 4 up here, and then after we have 4, we just need to go down to the 4 corners on the bottom. And that's pretty much it. Pretty much. There we go, grab that. And that one there. Oh, how many have I got already? Apparently most of them. I, I just haven't been paying attention in the last minute, apparently. That sometimes just happens where I'm playing and I'm just not even realizing it. Which is nice, because it means I usually play better. But, you know. Anyway, there's also some ring, the ring of coins just above where you click the star at the bottom of the level, so. And there we go. That's another of the castle secret stars. And with that, that's pretty much as much as I want to do for now on the levels that we've seen so far. So now, let's just have a look around. If we go down through these doors, there's two brown doors that lead here. We can see there's a boo over there, but I don't consider this part of this part of this, this section of the game, so I'm going to leave that for now. We can also go down here, and there's a locked door here, which we need a key to open. No, not stars. If we go back through other of these wooden doors, since it also there's a wooden door over here as well. If we go up these stairs, there's another locked door, which we need a key to open. But for now, since we have eight or more stars, we can open up this star door. And there's a picture of Princess Peach. But if we get closer, it turns into Bowser and the floor drops us into a level. You've stepped right into my trap, just as I knew you would. I warn you, friend. Watch your step. Welcome to Bowser in the Dark World. This place looks cool and the music is also cool and just... It's just so good. Anyway, there's also red coins to collect in this level. That one's just off in the void, so we can't really grab that at the moment. So, let's just go forward a little bit. There's also fire spewers. They're gonna be a problem, because if we aren't careful, they're gonna make us burn. And if we do get set on fire, we actually run around without any con much without much control. You can still turn, but you are forced to move, walk forward. When we press the switch, some bl blocks will appear, like the one underneath that coin there. But also the coin over here, which we want to go get. So let's go get that, and be very careful. And also run fast because this time will run out and then the blocks will disappear. When their blocks are about to disappear, they will flash. And gone, just like that. Okay, let's keep moving. I'll go on to these moving platforms. That's literally all they are. They just move around. In a, squ in a square motion. Don't! Oh, I ran into the wall too fast, apparently. And it made Mario bounce back. That's not good. Anyway, we can jump back in. There's an invisible wall to stop you from getting to the Bowser painting. And that's all that for now. Let's try and get these back. This music, this song is really good. One of my favorites, and it's also a really good when remixed. So look up remixes of it. I can highly recommend Vector U. Highly recommend. Very, very, so highly recommend his remix of this song. Okay, let's try to get this, please. Oh, back side flips are good for these coins because you can jump over things. Just need to be careful, though. 
The fire one is more better for the side flip. Oh, jump back quick. That nearly ended badly. Anyway. Okay. Let's just be careful now. Just a little bit, just a little bit careful. Not too careful. We don't want to go too crazy. That slope there is too tall, tall to go up. So be careful about that. There's fire here. Oh my goodness. And now we have this moving platform thing here. I guess it's a, I don't know what to call it actually. There's also three Goombas here. And that's actually what these three Goombas are, are actually called as an object. They are actually, like when you place down this object, it's three Goombas. So, I say that as if you would be placing down objects. What I mean is the programmers have said, The safest way, probably actually, not easiest. Okay, and let's go over here. Also, sometimes when a Goomba gets too close to an edge, it'll just walk off. Which is quite sad, if you think about it. Okay. We want to go this way, though, because there's a red coin over this way, so we're going to go very slowly. Also, if you want to go slowly and hold the control stick up at full speed, you can also crawl. Which is also probably recommended for tight spaces where you're going to fall off. Anyway, let's grab that. And let's also hit this for a 1-up that is, is probably going to run away from me. Okay, we got it. Cool. Okay. Oh, crouch and go. Crouch and crawl. Okay, we've made it fairly far in the level so far. We're actually getting close to the end of Bowser in the Dark World. So, let's just keep going a little bit more. And go... Over here. So over here, there's a one-up in between some of those pillars, which you can jump to from these platforms. But these platforms are weight, pl weight platforms that, if you stand on them for enough time, will tilt. So you want to be careful about that. And now that we're up here, we want to go back because up here, somewhere, is a red coin for us to grab. So we want to be very careful as we jump to it. There we go. And now, let's try to get that other red coin, which, which we can probably drop down to from here. Let's be careful. Ground pound if I can. Nope. Took damage. Okay. And now we want to probably jump to that platform over there. Go! Oh my goodness, that nearly ended really badly. Goomba, please don't hurt me. Don't hurt me. You can also punch the Goombas off the edge if you want to. Okay, just very careful. This switch makes these this slope turn into stairs, but only for a limited time, so let's go up quickly. And there we go. Mario, it's Peach. Please be careful, Bowser is so wicked. He will try to burn you with his horrible flame breath. Run around behind and grab him by the tail with the Y button. Once you grab hold, swing around in, a great, in great circles. Rotate the left stick. To go faster and faster. The faster you swing him, the further he'll fly. Use right stick to look around, Mario. You have to throw Bowser into one of those the bombs in the four corners. Aim well, then press Y again to launch Bowser. Good luck, Mario. Our fate is in your hands. So there we go. Before we go into that pipe there, we want to grab the star that we've worked so hard to get by getting all eight red coins this level. It doesn't teleport us out as well, which is good. And let's go in. Tough luck, Mario. Princess Toadstool isn't here. Gwahaha. 
Go ahead, just try to grab me by the tail. You'll never be able to swing me around. A wimp like you won't throw me out of here. Never. Ha. Huh. Bowser has a few things that he can do. Whenever you get too far away, he can jump. And if you, you're still standing on the ground when he lands, you'll get stunned for a little bit. He can also breathe fire, which sometimes will turn into coins when they burn out, but you will get burned by it, so be careful. If we grab Bowser, we can start rotating the left control stick to ro like swing him around. The faster he's going, the further he'll go. We can also press the Y button to throw him out. I didn't actually mean to beat him up here because I wanted to show more things. I accidentally hit one of the four bombs that are in the corner. Those are the spiky things on the side. You can usually use the uh, control, the camera stick to aim better. But anyway, we only need to hit him with one bomb. Grr, I was a bit careless. This is not as I had planned. But I still hold the power of the stars. And I still have Peach. Bwah, you'll get no more stars from me. I'm not finished with you yet. But I'll let you go for now. You'll pay for this later. If Bowser kills you in Serena, it's not actually the end of the world. As long as you still have lives when you die in this fight, you'll be put right outside the pipe. Just don't die before going back into the pipe, otherwise you'll get sent out of the level. So, let's grab the key that Bowser dropped. And now that we have our key, we know some doors that were locked before. Let's go and take a look at them. The, this key doesn't fit. Maybe it's for the basement. Hint, hint, wink, wink, wink. Let's head down to the basement, which is down here. And we can unlock it with our key. Straight away, we have the next star door here, which takes 30 stars to open. We need 12 more. We're probably going to get a little bit more than 12 down here. There's also this slope up here that we can't really go up. I don't even know if we can crawl up. Hang on, let me check. Let me, let me, let me check. Okay, no, you can't go up that by crawling. Anyway, let's head down this path. And look around. You can also burn yourself by jumping into this fire, so... Don't, but I'm just showing that you can. Even the blue fire, which is over by the door here, so... Also, just quickly, if you look at the smoke that comes out of Mario... It's not supposed to look like that. It's actually supposed to look uh, more grey and cloudy. But because of the way that the transparency works on the Super Mario 64 images, it looks like that and it's just very different. Anyway, hello Toad. Wow, you're already recovered that many stars. Where to go, Mario? I bet I'll bet you'll have us out of here in no time. Be careful though. Bowser ha and the, his band of band wrote the book on bad. Take my advice. When you need to recover from injuries, collect coins. Yellow coins refill one piece of the power meter. Red coins refill two power pieces, and blue coins refill five. I knew that the red ones were filled too. I don't know if I got to explain that when I was thinking about explaining that. But the blue coins were, four, were do five, which is good. To make blue coins appear, pound on blue coin blocks. Also, if you fall from high places, you'll minimize damage if you ground the pound the ground as you land. So yeah, if you're about to die from falling, you can ground pound just before hitting the ground. Probably like actually like a little bit above that. And you'll be fine. Also, this rabbit over here isn't supposed to be here until you have a certain amount of stars. At least a certain amount of stars. So, since we have enough stars, we can see him, but he's just going to run away from us. So, what we want to do is try to corner him. There's two places you can corner him. This is the one you're probably going to have a lot more often, depending on which way you hurt him, I guess. And as you get closer, you're going to want to be ready to catch him. Nope, I missed. You just need to grab him if you can. 
And if you dive, you can actually have a better chance of actually grabbing him automatically. Oh, unless I mess it up and he goes the other direction. Oh, I missed. Diving is the best way to catch him, by the way. Just so that you know. Oh my goodness. Corner. Okay. Here we go. Here we go. Grab, 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 grab. No. Why? Why does the kicks work like that? Ow. Also, I'm pretty sure I saw a fish flip out of the water. Like two seconds ago. And I don't know what that was, so. Okay, let me try to hurt him. A little bit. Okay. And now go that way. So be on the opposite side of him. That you want him to go. Okay, here we go, here we go, here we go, here we go, here we go. Just need to be ready. Nope. Oh my goodness, I am bad at this. I should really be trying to dive more. Ow. Except I'm very good at hitting the walls, apparently. Go back over there, please. Okay, camera, Mario edition. Let's see if I can get him. Be ready, be ready, be ready. Oh my goodness. Please. 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 Oh my goodness. Ah, oh, Mips. Why? His name is Mips, by the way. He's Princess Peach's pet, I think. I think that's the official thing about him. But if I can manage to grab him... Oh my goodness. This is starting to anger me. Oh my goodness, I wanted to dive. Why didn't you let me dive? Oh my goodness. This is... This is... Just... Oh my goodness, that was so close to catching him. Okay, here we go, here we go, here we go, here we go, and catch! Ah, ha, ha. No, come on! Got him! Oh my goodness! Yow! Unhand me, brute! I'm late, so late, I must make haste! This shiny thing? Mine, it's mine! Find his keepers, loser! Late, late, late. Oh, Take it then. A gift from Bowser it was. Now let me be. I have a date. I can't, cannot be late for tea. And for grabbing him, we get another star. Let's grab that. You can also pick him up again, so that's cool. You just run around with him. He doesn't look very happy at all to be carried. Look how disappointed he is. Just so upset. He just wants to be let go. He just wants me to put him on the ground. So sad. Anyway, let's put him on the ground. Okay, now it's just like, absolutely fine. But anyway, that is it for this episode. So, thank you all for watching, and I'll see you all next time.